Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Savoy, where our name is, I don't know, surprisingly... Well, it's a little more vertical than I would approve, but whatever. We're currently at war with Portugal, Spain, Brittany, and some other derps. Nobody that really matters. Bosnia, Albania, whatever. Who cares? Uh, Austria and Britain are helping us in this war. Of course, our swarm of vassals is doing a good job. Uh, I can't call Brandenburg into the war because he says it's just too far away. Otherwise, he would join, but he really thinks it's a really distant war. Uh, we just won a defensive battle in Valencia, so the enemy is retreating to God knows where. Badajoz, Halenteo, Lisbon, probably. Places that we can't get to yet. And uh, we fabricated claims all over Portugal, and we can't even take them because Portugal wasn't allowed to be called in a co-belligerent, so that's too bad. Apparently Naples is fighting Brandenburg for some reasons. Who knows? Oh, because of Silesia, of course. That's ah, no big deal. Uh, in this war, we're planning on giving some land over to Aragon, and also some land to Lyon. I don't think I'm going to take anything myself. So this is simply a war for humiliation, if we can afford it, and then giving land to our vassals. Hey, Burke Black, thanks for uh, hosting me. Cool. And we're also going to be giving Nantes to our vassal, Provence. Now, I'm hoping this guy will start fabricating claims. He is a militarist, which means he has a tendency to fabricate claims, but he currently has no claims anywhere. In fact, uh, he hasn't even cored Barry yet. Are you coring Barry? No, he's not even coring Barry. Hurry up and core Barry. I got some cat hair in my beard. Gosh darn it, Deimos. He just sheds and sheds and sheds. I was brushing him yesterday, and it was just constant hair coming off. Just constant. Uh-oh, what's this? Austria joins Sweden in a war against Russia. Oh my god. What is this war? Oh no, Sweden has declared a second war on Russia. Do you have claims again? Oh yeah. Sweden has claims on all the border provinces, and he declared another war. And unfortunately, Russia is allied to nobody important. So Sweden's going to beat him up again. Oh my god, look at Russia's war. Look at that war. Look at that. Goodbye, Russia. Nice knowing you. Goodbye, Russia. Alright, Siege in Cuenca, very good. Sieging Aragon, very good. And we're going to siege Castilla Vieja as well. Cool. We have this small army just wandering around doing all the sieges on the uh, unfortified provinces. Because they're really easy to siege. The fortified provinces will take much longer to siege. But we do have a siege pit general. And uh, we can evacuate the non cannons. No problem. Let's leave a couple soldiers here. And the rest of us are just going to get the fuck out of Dodge. Because we don't need to be there. It's just attrition that we don't need to take. Probably leave a couple in Surya. Oh no, don't need to leave a couple at all. We're good. Oh, we lost. Of course, because it borders Toledo. So we got to go siege Toledo soon. I wonder if we can just walk right there. Nope, we can't siege. We can't walk to Toledo. We can't walk to Madrid either. Nope. But after Mercia falls, we can go to Toledo. I think. We might have to siege Jayen first. I'm not sure how all this works. The siege. The um, province control mechanics are so awkward. Hey, we got the walls busted. That was quick. I like it. My vassals are doing a good job of sieging a fort in Mercia. Very nice, very nice. Max relations with the common derp. Okay. Oh, here comes a the stack. They have 40k coming my way. I assume they're going to Castilla La Vieja, but who knows? They could be going somewhere else. I really don't know. Oh, no, they're coming to Castilla La Vieja. All right. They are locked.
Please don't abandon your siege. I got this battle underway. Please don't abandon your siege. Also, Bosnia wants peace, which means I should be able to just peace him out right here. Take some war reps and maybe break your alliance with Spain. Nope. All right, just war reps. Bye. Good. He didn't abandon the siege. Good, because I've got this battle under control. No problem. Yeah, we're good. And yay, he's still sieging. A lot of times you'll see the AI will abandon a siege to go fight a battle somewhere, even if it's really far away. It just never makes any sense why they would do that. But not this time. Leave the cannons. I'll leave one cavalry. And maybe this many infantry. Okay. You would only need six guys to siege. But I'm going to leave a couple extra just in case we have attrition or whatever. So they'll keep sieging. The important thing is the walls are busted so it'll fall soon. No, we're not in the Protestant League yet. And you can't join or leave the League while you're at war. So I, saying join it or leave it isn't going to help right now. Um, hmm. Yeah, the Catholic side is way stronger. Why is Burgundy the leader? Burgundy's a one province minor. He should not be the leader. And the Netherlands should be in the League, and they're not. Why aren't you in the league, Netherlands? Gosh. Did I lose my other uh, general? I did not. Where is he? Oh, he's up there. Okay. I'm here all day, Spain. You just keep attacking me. Oh, failed Mercia again? He's at 56%. Stop failing. All right, we've maxed relations with Britain. Come on back. And that's pretty much all the sieging we can do for a little while. We can't go to Salamanca. We can go to Cuenca, I guess. Let's go to Cuenca. Yeah, I'm going to try not to bleed too much man... Oh, God, 77%. You keep failing. Stop failing. I'm going to try not to bleed too much manpower like last time. Last time was terrible. Hey, base tax in Piedmont, admin points, military points, or diplo points. Uh, I think the admin points, because... No, 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 we'll go... Fuck, I don't know. Uh, admin points. And we have a free diplomat. Work on Austria? Nah. Work on Commonwealth? Nah. Britain? Nah. Sweden? No. Russia? Mm, sure. Why not? Oh, wow. Sweden has no heir? Sweden has no heir. 56-year-old, no heir. And he will marry. Alright, you know what? I'm willing to do that. 
56 year old and he will marry. Let's do it. Come on. Get my dynasty. Yes, he's going to get my dynasty. Okay, go ahead and die. I am going to let... Oh, shit. Uh, ten heavies, everyone. That is ten heavies. Dock the fuck up. Dock up, 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 dock up. It's going to hurt a lot. You already lost a couple. Okay, we only lost three ships. Not that bad. Not that bad. That's what I get for leaving my fucking navy out there. God, ten heavies. And Mercia has fallen. Nice. Alright, if they want to just siege Mercia, that's fine. Although they will get it very quickly because there's only a hundred garrison. Then again, I could just attack him. Now that is tempting. Yeah, I think I'm going to attack him. Oh, jeez, look at that. He's at 14 already. Yeah, we should finish this 49% siege very soon, and I can swap out that 333 general to go kick this guy's asshole. Noble families feud. Kill some rebels. Okay. I don't even have to fight them, because Austria will do it for me. Ah, shit. Sweden had a baby. Damn it, Sweden! Damn it! <laughs> right after I married him, he had a baby. Fucker. Alright, well, that wasn't worth it, but it was just a chance that it might be worth it, right? It was just a chance. Wow, this zero zero general. He doesn't even show up. Look, he doesn't even show up as having a fucking star. There's not even. Oh, yeah, there is a general star. I'm stupid. Alright, let's do it. You're going down. Downtown. One, two, three, four, five. Some ass. Good battle for us. Oh. Oh. Snap. Real good battle for us. Oh, he's going to beat us by one day, and I can't follow him either. Fuck me. They have increased the garrison in Bragantia to 4,000, which means I need at least 12,000 to siege it. It's going to be a bitch seizing Portugal down. Okay, free diplomat. Go to Provence.
Oh, god damn it. Both of my vassals just broke their sieges. This is the kind of bullshit I'm talking. I don't care about this battle over here. But both of my vassals broke their sieges just to come fight over here. And now we're no longer progressing in sieges on his capital and Toledo, two of the most important provinces in Spain. God damn it. Aragon, you're going to siege this, okay? Hey, we got the walls busted. Nice. We didn't get a squish. Oh well. I just wanted to kick him out of there so we could siege Toledo. Alright. Looks good to me. Hey, you got the walls busted up here in Bragancha. That's cool. Yeah, there's no stars. Look at this. So this army, which is a 3-3, this general is a 3-3, gets two stars next to his name, or next to the army. This one, which is a 0-0, gets no stars. So I can't even tell there's a general in the army. Because there's no stars. That's pretty poopy. <laughs> Pritzini's almost 100% sieged already. Albania will probably want peace because he's blockaded. So let's see if Albania wants peace. Nope. Interesting. 25% war score and he will not take a white peace. That's a little bullshit. At 25% war score, you should want a white peace. Or at least the AI should want a white peace. Austria has been re-elected emperor. Okay. We can repay our loan, right? There you go. Loan is gone. Where are you going, Portugal? Oh, he wants to go siege that. That's not going to happen, dude. Good luck, though. Nice. Madrid has just fallen. Good job. Nassau. Kicking ass. Another idea for us. 5% cheaper tech for the rest of the game. I'll take it. it. Means I have more points for building up our provinces. Oh, I have seven troops down here. What the fuck? <laughs> um... I guess I should get access over here. I didn't realize I had seven troops stuck down here. It must have been Nevers' army, because I just annexed Nevers. How much is it to upgrade you? 499 ducats. All right.
Alright, things are looking pretty good here. Uh, I'm going to start handing shit over to Leon. Nice color you have there, Leon. And Aragon. They're his cores, after all. We probably won't be able to take all of this in the peace deal, but we'll see what's available. He is a co-belligerent, so we can definitely take more than you would normally expect. But it may not, you know, blow your socks off how much we can get. Or how little we can get. Um, sure, keep Sweden happy for now. It's too bad he had a baby. Why'd you have to go have a baby at 56 years old? God. Who does that? Once Bragantra falls, Aragon will be able to go for Lisbon. Can't go anywhere else until Grenada falls. This is the key right now. Good thing it's at 35 with the walls busted. But yeah, this war is going a lot smoother because Austria is helping us fight all the other shit. It makes a big difference when Austria is actually in the war on our side. Which is another reason why joining the uh, Protestant League right now would be foolish. But at least uh, the Netherlands is in. Good, good. What I'm really hoping for is some other nations like Brandenburg, who's reformed. I'm really hoping for him and some other guys to join the Protestant League. It just seems like such a far-fetched concept. I'm not sure it's going to happen. Brandenburg wants help against the Hansa. Alright, I'll take a look. It looks like we should join. Yeah, we should join that. Although the Netherlands will join against us, we should be alright. And besides, we can stack up armies over here. Sure. It's not my war. But I will fight it. Well, I'll threatened to fight it. Oh, god damn you, Sweden. God damn you. Went and had a baby at 56 or whatever, and then died the next year. One year old baby. 14 year regency. Uh, who don't, maybe, maybe the kid will die. If the kid dies, they get an interregnum and then they might get our dynasty. I'm the only marriage they have. That's pretty cool. Yeah, right. We need to revoke Brittany's cores because that'll make it cheaper to annex our vassals. Thank you for reminding me. I will forget, though. I'm so good at forgetting. Sometimes I think that's my job description. Forgetting all the stuff. Oh, hi, Netherlands. Don't mind me. I'm going to come kick your asshole now. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that your asshole? Yep, you did. Not a squish, but a real good battle for us. I can't follow him or anything. But we did some damage, and I'm happy about that. How nice to make your acquaintance, Netherlands. We used to be friends, and now, well, I can kick your butt. Now, Aragon, did you make any claims at all? No. You did, though. I can give that to you. I, I want him to eat all this land anyway. So we'll see. I don't think we're going to be able to get all of that, but we'll give him some of that. I would like to give the Boleras back as well. The problem is, I don't think I can safely get my army there. 
Uh, why don't we try sneaking a small stack down there? Is there a fort? No, there's no garrison. All right. Let's try sneaking a small stack over there. So come on up. Uh, Portugal, I don't know. He's he's keeping a vested interest, but I don't know if he's actually going to stop us. Spain has no navy, but Portugal has a huge navy. I mean, 10 heavies? I can't fight that. Alright, so that's all of Spain sieged, and it's only, how much war score? 70. This is 70 war score. I know it looks like maybe 99, 70. Because huh? why not? No, Portugal, go away. Portugal, go away. Stop it. Bad Portugal. Oh, and now he's now he's trapping me so I can't undock my troops. Yeah, fuck you, Portugal. Fuck you very much. I can piece him out of the war though. I'll just humi I'll just go for humiliation and that's it. Get him out of the war and then that navy will go away and then we'll be able to go to the Blairs and possibly also Cagliari. Oh, I need to get rid of my access over here. Whoops. Whoops. Do I have that anywhere else? No. Okay. Uh, what else did we want to do? Oh, right. We were looking at... Bum, ba, da, bum. We were looking at policies and which policies that we wanted to enact. Now, one of the ones we obviously want is modern firearms for 20% more combat for ability for our infantry. That's really strong. Uh, but I also want to go for improved relations plus 20%. That's nice. The problem is it really, it only affects your diplomats that you send out. It makes them work faster, but it's really not the most, it's not the best thing in the world, but it also gives you a free statesman there. That's pretty strong. And then diplomatic annexation cost. I want that as well, but we don't need to do that until we're ready to annex someone. So I'm going to go ahead and do the foreign aid act. I like it. And I'm going to turn on this when, we, when it becomes available. Yeah, that free statesman, so good. Get him, Leon. Nice. Walls are busted in Lisbon, but it won't fall anytime soon. But when it does, we can piece them out. And what's what's Russia look like now? Oh my god, look at how much land Sweden ate. Sweden, you need that little baby to die, dude. If that little baby dies, you get an interregnum. I'm your only marriage. Oh yeah. Come on. Oh, look at all this land he just took. Sweden's strunk. I wonder if the Commonwealth and Sweden are going to lose their alliance soon. I mean, right now they're good at, they're good buddies, but they're going to reach a point where they can't like they can't rival Russia anymore, right? Yeah, you guys won't be able to rival Russia anymore. When that happens, you're going to have to rival each other. I can't wait for that. Okay, top off Austria, please. Where is he retreating? Algarve? I think he's going to Algarve. I'm not sure though. Could just be stopping in Alenteo. Yeah. Huh. Alright. Rip Portugal's army. Mm. 
No life for you. And we will happily get out of there. Deimos, no. No, be a good kitty. Stay off the desk, okay? Unless you want to go in your box. All right, go in your box. Go in your box. Go on. Here, give him a minute. He'll go in the box, I think. Come on. Get in the box. But yeah, it is time to end the episode. So why don't we just call this here while I try to get this cat in the box. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Yay, he went in the box.